though due to our conditioning, um, teaching in the early stages at least is very important in fact, you know, and uh, learning and following and so on. All of this is important. All of this is the play of consciousness. No? But at a certain stage, the teacher, so to speak, also recognizing that the real emphasis is not so much on teaching and on you learning, but more a pointing out, a making clear, a reminding. You see, a reminding is a good not a bad term. And so, with this reminding, you don't so much need to learn so much, but more to recognize. As your own research into the truth, your own self discovering hmm, deepens, there is a, a quietude, an inner peacefulness that allows you more to contemplate more than think. You find somehow it becomes easy just to be at rest. And at a certain point, there is no effort at all, because your life moves as rest, even if you are doing dynamic activities. There is an underlying peacefulness about them, you see. And uh, this is noticed also, with pleasure inside, uh, a deep uh, understanding that it's not force anymore, it's not hard work, it's not determination, but now something is simply subsiding into the space of being, a space of awareness. This is the important thing. I want to point this out right now. Now, I believe you want to say something? I was asking hmm? because before you were saying that truth is, must be natural, it's not as a result of a practice. Yeah. Um, there's this fear, though, that because it feels like on some level, the mind was involved in in bringing me here. Yes. That the teachings worked on the mind also. Yes. Um, and then to let that go mm -hmm. is there's a lot of fear comes that okay. also I'll fall away because there's something not stable yet. Yes, it's a good point you are making, and there's no force in all of this. I am not um, rubbishing the mind. You know, mind is a mind is also aspect of self. See, it's all of it, no? You can say in whatever form it takes, either aggressive or um, uh, or it comes like a friend, whichever way it comes, you can say, as you said, the mind actually brought me here, you know, the mind also brought me here. So at some point, it, it had to learn, it had to, it was useful, it had to to grow and to make sense of things. So I totally acknowledge this. So I am thankful that you bring it. So I'm, it do, it's not misunderstood that I'm saying, no, don't practice anything at all, because it's unavoidable. In life, you're practicing so many things. We're practicing so many things. And it's part of the adventure of li life and of growth, of evolving in a way. But now I'm speaking now at the, at the later stage of this. You cannot always just be learning, 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 practicing, 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 searching, searching, searching. And uh, un unless somehow you're coming into that uh, the experience itself of what it what it is you're searching for, it cannot just be as an ideal. It has to be making its way now, energetically and in every way. It is you are immersed or merging with that in w that you're searching for. You see, so like this. So it's not a question of oh throw your mind away now. It's no use. By itself, automatically, without even the choice to do that. It is losing ground. It has served you, in fact. And it will be losing ground and it will be slipping away in the background. Not needed so much now. Uh, to work things out, to plan, to, to, to strive. These become secondary for you. And primary is just somehow now this... Um, you're, you are living in the perfume of being itself. You're, you're, you're in a state of peace. Mm -hmm. The mind still functions but functions actually in service to that peace. It's not uh, trying to get, trying to get, but more somehow recognizing that peace is not an object to be gotten. Peace is the subject, the perfume of the subject itself. You see, And only when that is beginning to be felt is the confidence to relax enough 
to let the mind, the, the, the dynamic, um, go-getting mind slip back into, uh, into the background. You see, like that. So it's not a question of, okay, listen now, I want you to drop your mind, because you're not able to do it. If I have to say, you drop your mind, who am I speaking to even? As you begin, as you, as the maturity is there enough to see what you've been regarding as mind, actually, it's it was an, actually an aspect of the self, and now it has served its purpose. When you were focusing on grosser states, and then it appeared in a grosser way, but now it's now as you become more into the subtlety of being, mind also becoming more subtle. You see, and at a stage naturally. It's simply you're looking for mind. You don't know what what is mind again. You you can't see any distinction anymore between mind and self, because they are one. In the early stage, when you're a person, there's definitely a mind. When you're the self, there's no mind. There's not even the self. I mean, it's just you. You stop thinking in terms of self and mind, and absolute and relative. All these things now they just uh, fall away. What remains? It is wordless actually. So, follow this, please. It's not a confusion. Hmm? Only in the early stage. Mind brought you here. Someone said to me recently, pain brought me here. Pain brought me to you. Mind brought me to satsang. Because I was suffering so much, I was looking for a way out. And all my, all my escape routes were closed. I ran out of moves. And I was uh, compelled, somehow, to look on the internet for help. And that help came and appointed me to you. So all of this is mind. I cannot say the mind is all out to get you. No, no. If you yourself, you see, are depending on the strength or the depth of your hypnosis in believing that you're only your body and conditioning, which makes mind a much more dynamic and perhaps seeming an opposing energy, as you come back to yourself, the mind ceases to oppose so much. It cannot. It needs the conflict. It needs the contrast to... To, to to create the tension enough for growth and for the activity of you know learning and growing to happen. As you come back, subside the mind subsides into the heart's energy, you're feeling much more that, you know, mind, what is the mind? I don't see a mind to suffer. You see? It's just now a concept, it's just a word now. Before it was the devil. And now it's actually it's God. You see, how did that happen? <laughs> Very good. Aduna am dek li wesu wesu na dara weyu. Jar jar la, keep it.